Hello and welcome to the chart of the week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 21st of March 2019 and the time has just gone 11.35 GMT. This week's chart of the week is Palladium. Um, Palladium has, has once again uh, hit a new all-time high. Looking at the chart here for the past number of months, we've seen a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. And as, as I just mentioned, another high has other another all-time high has been reached on Palladium. So the mark so the market sentiment is clearly very bullish on Palladium. And I, as we can see on the MACD indicator, MACD histogram, there's a steady decline in negative momentum, and now momentum has turned positive. So as the market is pushing higher and hitting another all-time high, that's been confirmed by the swing from negative momentum to positive momentum on the MACD indicator. So if you do manage to press on higher from here, uh, from these levels on Palladium, we could be looking at targeting the 1600 mark. It's a big psychological number, and as, we're, uh, as we are in currently in un uncharted territory, it's likely that traders will be looking out for the big number. Even if we do see a bit of a pullback, uh, we, we might see some support, given that we've been in such a strong upper trend in recent months. So if we do manage to drift lower on Palladium, we could see support coming to play from this area here, 1536, uh, the previous uh, all-time high that was reached in late February. And even if you drift lower from there, support might be found from the psychologically important 1500 mark. And we can notice that there's been quite a bit of consolidation, both support and resistance uh, from the 1500 mark only a few weeks ago. And if you drop below that, uh, might bring the early March low of 1465 into play. And should we see a break of 1465 to the downside, uh, we, could, we could bring the 50 day moving average into play, this blue line here which comes into play at 14.75 and support also might be found in around the psychologically important 1400 mark but also note that how 1400 was the previous all-time high that was reached back in mid-January. Now one of the reasons, uh, for main, the main driver for Palladium's uh, success recently has been that a metal is used in catalytic converters in engines so keep if you are going to be trading uh, if you are going to be trading palladium, please keep an eye uh, on, on any news in relation to emissions and fuel uh, and engines, uh, in relation to fuel emissions from engines, because that's been a big driver, no pun intended, for the, uh, for the success of palladium in recent weeks and months. Also, there has been some, some chatter and some speculation that platinum, the relatively cheap platinum metal, is going to be used as a substitute for palladium. Uh, so that, that has helped... Uh, the platinum price tick up recently. Um, evidently, there's, there's been clearly no no uh, de de uh, no demand no, no decline in demand for palladium because it's reached yet another all-time high today. But keep an eye on that story in relation to platinum. Uh, there's also speculation and chatter uh, that there's going to be a ban on scrap metal from Russia. Um, that that's 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 uh, another story, which is driving the kind of wider metals market. And also, uh, given the Fed's update last night. The Fed gave a dovish update last night, and also uh, the U.S. Central Bank also downgraded its growth forecast for the U.S. economy for 2019. So, and the U.S. dollar has bounced back this morning, but it's still down on the week. Uh, and the a relatively weak U.S. dollar can also assist the wider metals market. Um, finally, before I go, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.